I'm fine, Pankaj. How are you? Very well, very well. Thank you. And for the first time on our hangout again, we have a new guest. We have former India captain Anjum Chopra. Anjum, hi. Hi, Pankaj. Hi to everybody as well. Wonderful, wonderful. Now that we've done our introductions, let me also tell you we have three uh, guests, uh, our fans who have joined us from the show. We have Imam, Keshav, and Ravleen. Uh, hey, guys. All good? Yeah, hey, Pankaj. Hi, all good. Spectacular. So let's just uh, get started with the conversation. Uh, let me just go on directly to uh, VVS first. VVS, you know, we we all gathered here to talk about uh, you know the World Cup and and uh, India chances there and everything. First of all, now that with the squad that has been announced, give us your thoughts on the on that squad for the World Cup. Yeah, I think uh, it's the best the selectors could have done. I mean, it's a well balanced squad and it was an expected squad because most of the players who have done well in in the One Day series against West Indies and Sri Lanka. I've been uh, given a chance, you know, so I think it's it's a, a well balanced squad. Uh, the only area of concern for me is uh, best bowling. Uh, we got uh, bowlers who can take wickets up front, especially with two new balls uh, uh, used in one day format now and in Australian conditions. But I think that bowling is a concern, uh, and I think that that's a major area because it is how much score uh, you put on the board. Because I think we got an excellent batting lineup, but I think that bowling is is a concern for us. You know, otherwise I think. Uh, the squad is quite good. All right, fantastic. Anjum, let's get your thoughts on, on the squad as well. Do you agree with VBS? I think the whole nation agrees with what the selectors have picked. Uh, there's no reason for not to agree. For the simple reason is nobody wants to choose a squad which is not going to be winning you the World Cup. Uh, yeah, probably a selection here or there. Uh, one does feel out for Robin Uthappa, who uh, gets to miss out again on an India berth. But uh, having said that, uh, if you look at the other side, who could he have replaced? I think the selectors have definitely gone ahead with the all-rounder package and, and somebody who can contribute in both the departments. So, um, yeah, pretty much satisfied. And uh, look, as Vivia said, most of them select themselves, pick themselves, and you don't want to go ahead with many changes in an important contest like a World Cup. All right, fair enough. Bajupa, uh, do you think that the squad that is going to the World Cup is a balanced side or could there could have been some differences? Yeah, the only change could be, could have been that uh, Harbhajan Singh comes in for someone, but... Um, <laughs> Intro spectacular, Bhaji style, Bhaji well, has responded. Keeping that on the side, uh, I think it's a very good side, but uh, since it's it's going to be a very challenging uh, World Cup, it's happening in Australia, it's not going to be the easy one like, uh, you know, in, in India, you know, you chase whatever run you want to chase and, uh, and defend uh, almost every time you bowl, defend 350 or runs. So it's going to be a totally different World Cup. But we have got the team, we, as uh, VVS have mentioned, that uh, we have got the batting lineup, which can be very, very destructive and uh, which can be a very uh, good batting lineup in any conditions. But uh, bowling is the concern area where um, you know two new balls are uh, going to be used. Bhuvneshwar will be good with the new ball and so is Shami. And uh, as VVS have mentioned, uh, bowling to, uh, uh, bowling in the depth is going to be the concern. I don't know who's going to bowl in the depth, but uh, even in the middle overs, I don't know who's going to pick those wickets. It's it's going to be a very interesting uh, to see, you know, who take the responsibility to do the job for the team. Smashing. Uh, thank you for that, uh, Vajiba. Uh, let me just go back to uh, VVS again. Uh, VVS, uh, only four players remain from that magnificent team of 2011 that lifted the trophy. Uh, do you think this sort of lack of experience is going to be a worry for us, uh, especially in the big games uh, that, uh, they, that we're going to face towards the later part of the tournament? Uh, see, I think, uh, uh, and that's what the intention of the selectors was, to give all these guys who they thought would play in the World Cup as many matches as possible. And that's why if you see they've tried everyone, including someone like Akshar Patel uh, and Karan Sharma, uh, because they wanted some uh, variety in the spin bowling uh, option. So I think all of them uh, have played uh, a lot of matches. Maybe Akshar Patel is short 
uh, as far as his uh, uh, international experience is concerned, but in the limited opportunities he got, he has done really well. And he's done well uh, for Kings Eleven Punjab, especially uh, at the death uh, overs, you know, because George Bailey, the captain, used to rely on him in pressure situation in the power play or at the death. So I think uh, all of them have given have been given enough chances, you know, but. I always feel a World Club, a World uh, Cup is a big event, uh, and the team which handles the pressure, because they are going to be uh, some uh, pressure situation. The team which handles the pressure will always come out uh, victorious. We have seen that even in 2011 in India, even though it was the home conditions, there were some important moments which the Indian team won, and because of that they came uh, to uh, and uh, as the champion. You know, even against Australia in Ahmedabad, we were in tricky situation. And then Suresh Raina and UV played, uh, played a fabulous uh, knock, and the, the partnership got us uh, into the semi finals. You know, so I think it's important that they handle the pressure situation, and we have to just wait and see how they handle. Because that is one area which probably uh, these, these players uh, lack. But I'm sure that they've got the talent and they've got the potential uh, to handle some uh, tough situations. Fantastic. Uh, you know, uh, Anjum, there is no doubt that there is potential in the team, as, as uh, rightly pointed out by VVS. Uh, but do you think at some point it will hurt uh, the lack of experience, or you completely echo the sentiment of VVS on this? No, I completely echo the sentiment. Look, experience is one thing which you definitely want to have on your side uh, when you're going out into any international contest. You don't want to have all, uh, you know, freshers into the squad. But on the other side, uh, I, I don't see a lot of inexperience into this side. If you look at uh, Ravinder Jadeja or uh, Suresh Raina or uh, or anybody, uh, Virat Kohli or Adhoni, I think there's a lot of experience into this side. Maybe, yes, Anakshar Patel is one guy who you can say that is inexperienced or lesser experienced or, or a Stuart Binney in terms of uh, not playing a lot with the Indian team. But the rest of them, I think, is everybody has been around the Indian squad for almost a year and a half or maybe two. And those two years, they've not only seen but even played a lot of cricket. So, I don't think it's an inexperienced squad. And uh, going into this World Cup, you have fresh legs, you have fresh ideas, you have uh, the intent, and more important, the leader at the top uh, you know, really uh, rubs off a great effect. So I think it's, it's a very good team. Fantastic. Bajiba, uh, obviously you joked about you know, on, on, on not being uh, able to serve uh, the team in this World Cup. But could just you know, I'm just talking from a fan's point of view. Could you just share uh, how did it feel last time around when you guys lifted that trophy? How was it for you? Well, obviously that was uh, one of the biggest moments for me. Uh, we all want to represent in the World Cup, and um, and lifting the trophy is some is something really special. You know, we all have. Uh, one dream, you know, when you start playing this game, you know, you want to be part of the World Cup and you want to be lifting that trophy and, you know, and doing you know, all sort of hangama and dramas with that trophy and that night was uh, something really special which I'll never forget, you know, we had so much of fun and obviously it was a, it was a big dream which had come, not just my dream, but um, we all dreamt of it and uh, the first uh, I think billions of Indians have dreamed of that, and um, it was uh, it was a, such a great night that um, that I, I'll cherish for the rest of my life. You know, that was something really special which I'll not, uh, which I'll never be able to forget. Right. Thank, yeah. thank you for doing that. Just coming in here. Yes. Uh, see, even though I was not part of that uh, uh, World Cup, you know, I didn't play at the World Cup, but I remember watching the match, you know, along with my son. You know, and after India, after Dhoni ate that six, I was in tears, you know, even though not part of the team, but I've been part of, part of the system. And then my son, Sarvajit, asked why I was crying. And I told such a big emotional moment for all of us who were part of the Indian cricket. Because all of us uh, wanted to live the World Cup. You know, 1983 was the last time we had won. So it was not only for the players who were on the park, they made all of us so proud, but all the fans of uh, uh, the Indian cricket world over wanted that so badly. So it was an emotional moment for all of us. On that note, let me just tell you viewers, I cried like a baby that night. Yeah, everyone I'm sure. But <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm glad you said ki, you know, that's a night yet that you will never forget uh, because I would like you, uh, you know, to share a, maybe a little story or something that happened that night that is etched into your memory uh, forever. Koi asi choti baat hui Anything, anything that you can share with us. Say again, Pankaj, I can't hear you. I said that, uh, could you share something 
uh, uh, something really special that you guys did on that night after lifting that trophy uh, that the fans would love to know about and they haven't heard uh, from you? Well, uh, all I can tell you, we are all of the players, uh, we had the medals on till the morning. Um, you know, not many people would know that uh, we had medals till the morning and I slept with my medal on. Slept in dress, uh, what I was wearing in the, in the ground. And we parted in that, we had a lot of uh, drinks, a lot of dance, a lot of uh, fun time. And uh, that trophy, we were carrying it from one room to the other room was like, uh, you know, some, uh, like something really special have happened and it was a special moment, you know, we were taking pictures with our family, with our friends, with the trophies and um, and of course we we danced till 3, 4 in the morning and it was like a great night, you know, I will, I'll never be able to forget that, you know, each and every man I remember seeing Sandulka dancing with his wife for the first time and uh, of course uh, we, we asked Amir to join, Amir was dancing on apni to part shala maine apni nahi aaj hamari part shala hai hamari part shala mein na jo aaj to so it was something really i mean uh, special to be honest uh, we were all i mean i was uh, happy drunk to be honest i don't drink but uh, that was the day to to get drunk and i got drunk which was uh, i really enjoyed it next day i didn't feel too good but um, but i'll remember this Fantastic. Wow. Amazing revelations happening uh, on this Hangout by Air India for the first time. Uh, you know, let me just go to Vivias and Anjumba. Uh, you guys, you have been associated with Air India for a long time. And this is the first time that this sort of initiative has been uh, done uh, by Air India. How does it feel? And, you know, this is something unique, you know, technology, social media. How does it feel? Yeah, I think it feels great, you know, because uh, I've joined Air India in 1996. Uh, and I just played for India at that time and I know the kind of encouragement Air India gave me uh, and not only by giving me a job but also you know the amount of matches uh, I used to play for Air India uh, various tournaments, they play a lot of uh, tournaments or as a cricketer especially young cricketer you want to play as many matches as possible so that, that experience has been unbelievable and now I think Air India is the only uh, carrier and obviously the national carrier which flies direct to Melbourne and to Sydney so I think and the World Cup is going to happen uh, in Australia. So I think it's a great initiative and I feel that it's a great way to connect with uh, the fans of cricket and I'm sure the fans of Air India. You know, so I think it's great to be part of the inaugural uh, hangout uh, for, uh, you know, and a great initiative. Fantastic. Uh, Anjum, obviously you've had uh, your journey with Air India as well. Could you just tell us a bit more how did you get started with Air India and how did they support you and everything? Yeah, I started when I was in college only uh, from Delhi itself and joined them on a contract. At that time, uh, we had two separate entities, Indian Airlines and Air India. So I joined the Air India entity when I was in college. But then uh, the company was very kind enough uh, to absorb me after I finished my academic uh, uh, career. And uh, then I got absorbed in about uh, almost eight years back. So uh, the journey didn't start eight years back. The journey started almost about uh, uh, 13 or 14 years back. Uh, so. Yes, it's been long, it's been nice, and uh, it's been smooth sailing and smooth skies. And I hope and uh, really feel that it should continue the same way uh, as it started. But yes, they've been uh, very much encouraging towards uh, the sport, towards our careers. Uh, look, as a sports person, if you get absorbed in any of the organizations and they uh, really support you in terms of playing the sport, very much uh, uh, you know, unbiased, free from all uh, working burdens, then I think it's it's a great uh, thing to happen because it doesn't come very easy to uh, the world uh, over. So our organization, uh, Air India and other institutions as well also help us uh, do that. So I think it's, it's a great uh, asset and, and we're very fortunate to be working with the airline. Mashing. Uh, Bajiba, uh, your thoughts on your association uh, with uh, Air India? You've been a uh, part of them for Hi. so long. Hi, this is Nikhil. What's happening? Hi, Oh wow, we have, we have a, a surprise guest joining us on the show. Nikhil, how are you? First of all, a very happy new year. Thank you. Happy new year to you as well. I see a lot of cricket are going on. Pankaj, the new year was already started a little bit earlier. Sorry. I just assumed that I, I would have wished you uh, my apologies. Uh, in fact, I wish everybody a very happy new year. So you handle two Chopras right now. <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, Nikhil, wonderful that uh, that you've taken the time to join us. Uh, uh, you know, I asked a question at the beginning of the show to to 
uh, VVS, and I, I had opinions from uh, Vajupa and Anjum as well. I would love to uh, hear your thought. Uh, the squad that has gone to uh, that has been selected for the World Cup. Are you completely happy with it, or you would have tinkered with it a little bit? I would have. I would have liked to see Harvajan Singh in there for sure, and also <laughs> Vivian. Yes, <laughs> boy. <laughs> but you know, uh, Pankaj, let me tell you something. You know, uh, Bajji is here, Lakshman, uh, Anjum is here. I am here. I tell you something. You know, with Air India cricket team being so strong, it won't be a bad idea if we actually play a friendly game against the actual Indian team. You know, we've got a lot of other cricketers, Vijay Dhaya. We've got Suresh Raina, who currently with the World Cup side. Ritinder Singh Sodi, you know, so we have a very, very strong air India team as well. Oh, oh that, that sounds really exciting. <laughs> I think you take this seriously now. The most important name is the Sixes man, Yuvraj Singh as well. And I'm, sure <laughs> you, you, and I'm sure you would love to play against the current Indian team. <laughs> <laughs> Bajuba, I thought you were trying to say something. Sorry, we couldn't hear you. Yeah, we'll, we'll probably end up beating this Indian team here, yeah, I think. <laughs> no, this is on the ground or off the ground? <laughs> Both, both, both. <laughs> okay, on, on that on that happy note, let me try and get a few fans involved, uh, give them a chance to ask uh, their favorite uh, icons a question as well. Uh, starting with Imam. Imam, go ahead. Yeah. Uh, ask your question. Thank you so much, Pankaj. Thank you so much for the opportunity. Vajipa, Rivia Sanjum, uh, Nikhil, who has joined us, a big fan of yours. You know, uh, have the, so you guys have done so much for Indian cricket and. I can't thank in, uh, Pankaj enough for giving us the opportunity to talk to you guys. Uh, though I live very close to uh, Lakshman's place at Kundapur, I, I am able to see him here at the hangout. So thank you so much for this opportunity. My question quickly is uh, to uh, Bajiba. Uh, Bajiba, we, we have picked three spinners for this World Cup team. And apart from you missing, who, which I am very disappointed with, apart from you, uh, do you think uh, uh, somebody like a Kuldeep Yadav could have been picked as a surprise package? Because uh, the world has not seen him a lot. So, uh, you know, it would have been a great uh, asset to have in our team. So, what are your thoughts about that? And would love to know Lakshman and Anjum thought about it as well. Well, um, you know, if you wanted to add someone like uh, Ravinder Chadeja and Akshar Patel, to me, you know, both of them, they do the same thing. Uh, they bowl left on the pick. They odd ball spin, then uh, they both bat down the order. But uh, you could have probably looked to add uh, either Kuldeep Yadav or Amit Mishra or uh, or any other leg spinner, if you wanted to have a have a variety in your bowling attack. But uh, I'm not the selector. But whatever they have picked, I wish my team all the best, and I hope they they do do the job for the country. Smashing. Uh, thank you, thank you, ma'am. Uh, Keshav, go ahead. Uh, ask a question. Yeah, uh, hi everyone. Uh, hi, Bajipa, Lakshman, uh, Anjum ma'am and Nikhil sir. Uh, great fan of yours. Of course, you know, seen you millions of times on TV. Never thought I'd be able to you know, talk to you uh, like this. So thanks to Circle of Cricket for that. Thanks to uh, Air India my, for that, uh, my friend. Of course, thanks to Air India as well. And a Happy New Year to everyone. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, uh, my question is to uh, Lakshman sir. Uh, like, uh, isn't it a gamble for India to have picked Jadeja, you know, uh, despite the doubt about his fitness? Because uh, if I remember correctly, you know, the same thing uh, happened in 92 when, you know, Ravi Shastri was, uh, you know, not fully fit and uh, uh, in Australia, the World Cup was there. And then, you know, in the middle of World Cup, he had to be, you know, uh, taken out of the squad. So, isn't it a little too gamble for picking Jadeja? No, I don't think so. Because uh, see, for any selection meeting, they will take the physiotherapist uh, report. So I'm sure that the physiotherapist must have declared him fit, and that's why they have picked him. So I think it's another one month uh, before the World Cup starts. Little more than one month, you know. And I think there will be ample uh, time for Jadeja to recover fully, and also they will play a lot of games before the first game in the World Cup. So I think the selectors will never ever take such a big gamble. You know, forget about World Cup, but any international. Match now when the team is selected, they they make sure that the fitness levels of the players being selected uh, are, are okay. So, uh, like Akshar Patel, he's almost a replica of you know Jadeja. So, is, is that another reason that you know if Jadeja is not uh, fully fit, so they can uh, play a certain you know Akshar Patel in the squad? No, I I don't think so. I think they wanted uh, uh, three spinners, 
uh, and uh, among the three spinners, uh, yeah, Jadeja selects himself because the, in the one-day format he has done really well uh, for the Indian team. Ashwin is there. Now, they tried Karan Sharma, they tried Aksar Patel. Yeah, unfortunately, they didn't try Kuldeep Yadav, uh, who was picked in the uh, West Indies uh, one-day series. So without trying or within, without giving him enough exposure, you cannot uh, expose him to a, such a big team, such a big tournament. Uh, so among all the young spinners they have tried out, Akshar Patel has really used the opportunity. And I think if Karan Sharma would have used the opportunity, he would have been picked. Uh, but I think Akshar has used the opportunity. And uh, and with this type of bowling, Australian wickets really suit this type of bowling because he gets extra bounce. Uh, and also he's a good uh, batsman, excellent fielder. So I think that's why they've gone uh, for Akshar Patel. Vishal, are you planning to go to Australia to watch the World Cup or no? Keshav, so uh, Nikhil is asking, are you going to Australia uh, for the World Cup? Uh, I wish I could, but uh, you know, uh, everyone has commitments, so you know, it just this is the time you ask Nikhil for tickets from Air India to go there. <laughs> okay, you know, we can't fly out tickets, but watch the Air India space on Twitter. Monday there will be some interesting news coming through. Fantastic, fans, there you have it. Uh, Nikhil has said that, so keep watching out for uh, that space on Twitter, uh, follow Air India and uh, maybe you never know, maybe you just might get that chance. Alright, uh, thanks Keshav uh, for that and thank you uh, Nikhil for that wonderful announcement. Uh, let me just uh, go to Ravleen here, Ravleen has been waiting for a long time for a question. Ravleen, go ahead, ask a question. Um, hi Bhaji. Hi Anju ma'am, hi VVS sir, hello Nikhil sir. First of all, it's an absolute privilege to get a chance to speak in front of you and thank you so much Air India and my question is for VVS sir, aren't three spinners too many to pick? Was there room to pick an additional batsman or fast bowler? Uh, I think that the balance of the side uh, is quite good. You know, you've got four fast bowlers and Stuart Binney comes in uh, as an all-rounder who can bowl medium pace. Uh, and then uh, you've got three spinners and you've got enough batsmen and among these three spinners Jadeja can bat, Ashwin can bat, Aksar Patil can bat also. So I think the balance is, uh, is good uh, and I think they've covered all uh, the bases you know, in picking, uh, picking this ball. All right, all right. Thank you, uh, Ravleen. Uh, Nikhil, let me just, you know, I, I know we've been talking uh, 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 about Air and there, what it does for cricket. Uh, but I want to take your mind off it and get back to cricket, Arko, just a little bit. There's a question specifically for you that uh, we just touched upon briefly at the beginning of, of the show. That do you think that uh, our team has enough depth in the bowling, especially in the pitches of flat as seen in the, uh, the test matches? Uh, do you think we have enough uh, firepower uh, to, to uh, get us through? Well, uh, to be honest, Pankaj, you know, the heart says yes, but the head, you know, uh, not so much, but I'll tell you something, you know, it, it'll get difficult for most of the bowling sides with the new ruling coming in, you know, now that you have to have that fifth fielder within the 30-yard circle, so boundaries would be uh, pretty easy. And Team India has picked those three spinners as well. I don't think all three will play in the 11, but if, even if two play, they'll be doing the bulk of the bowling. And towards the end of the season in Australia, dry conditions, our spinners should be able to do the business. because. If you realize, you know, uh, 10 years ago or maybe 7 years ago, just before this new ruling come, you know, 300 was a great big total. Now 300 has become like the new, the new 260 or 280 because of the new re, uh, ruling. In a 50 over game, you have many more boundaries being scored. So to answer your question, I find it difficult. Mohammad Shami is one guy who can, you know, bowl Yorkers at will and he's very good at it. Uh, I'm hoping that Ishan Sharma, you know, in these off days and with the triangular uh, series coming up as well, he can develop that skill because you need the Yorkers. Otherwise, if you leak too many runs, even the best batting side under pressure will not be able to chase 350 runs on board every single time. So we need to see, uh, we need to save those boundaries. True that. Fantastic. Uh, guys, uh, I think through the uh, last 10 minutes of the show remaining, I think it's time for it. Uh, for me to get the fans involved as well because otherwise they'll keep complaining that the stars were here and Pankaj didn't uh, let, uh, let me ask the question. So, uh, Keshav, I see you smiling there on that. Uh, go ahead, uh, ask, ask your uh, second question. Yeah, uh, my second question would be to uh, Bajipa. 
Bhajipa, who do you think would be India's key player in this tournament, you know, if we have to win? Because uh, it's happening in Australia. Uh, our record, apart from that CB series win, is not that good. So, uh, who do you think would be the key player? I think for me, uh, it would be uh, Virat Kohli and Rohit Sharma. If they bat well, India will have a chance. Otherwise, uh, it will be, uh, I mean, difficult for all the other batsmen to score really these who have caught the game, uh, who could, you know, play in any sort of condition and score runs of any sort of bowling. And uh, I think these are two players are going to be the key for India. And of course, MS Dhoni need to bat well uh, down the order and uh, and for me, you know, these three players need to click. You know, if, if Virat Kohli, Rohit Sharma and Dhoni clicks, then we'll have score on the board to defend. And uh, bowling is still the concern, you know, for the Indian team. I don't think that we have the uh, quality bowling who can uh, defend 250 odd runs and it's not going to be like Indian condition, Indian three time on to bat score 300 and 350. It's, it's going to be 250 to 280, you know, but for that to defend, we have to have a good bowling lineup, and um, and I think India will have more chances of winning the cup if they'll uh, chase most of the time because they have got quality batting lineup with Virat and Rohit and Dhoni in their batting lineup. Wonderful. Uh, uh, you know, Pankaj, I would like to ask the same question to our other uh, guests as well because for them, who would be the uh, you know player to look out? I was about to do the same. Fantastic. Thank you. Uh, look, for me, uh, I think the start for the Indian team is going to be very crucial. Uh, we know, and probably other teams also know, that Virat is a very uh, important cog in the entire batting order, and so is uh, MS Dhoni. You know, I think Ajinkya Ran is also in uh, very good form, and he would probably be continuing to do that as well. But for me, where the uh, really the deal clincher will be how the start of the innings is faced. Uh, Shikhar Dhawan, yes, he's been he's a great talent. We know he's been in and out of form. Uh, not being very consistent. Uh, the other side, if Rohit Sharma is partnering with him, how is uh, the start going to be uh, taken by the Indian team, whether they are setting a target or chasing? Either either ways. So I think uh, a start also needs a lot of attention. Uh, like we've been uh, laying a lot of emphasis on our bowling part, that uh, we don't have death bowlers, or that's not been really performing well. I think uh, a, a cause of concern is also the uh, opening batters. All right. Uh, VBS, your thoughts? Uh, so my thoughts is uh, I, I hope and uh, wish that all the three fast bowlers are in top form. I'm not worried about the batting and if you see even in the recently, uh, the recent test series also all the batsmen are in great form. You know, and the best, best thing about uh, playing a test series and the one day series before the World Cup is they're all acclimatized uh, to the condition. But it's disappointing even to see today's uh, game where in the fourth test match you see that the bowlers are still not bowling the right lens or right lines. They're not able to bowl accurately. You know, and this is in test format. They're leaking more than five runs per over, and think about what's going to happen in one-day format. So I think that is an area of concern for me. Bubi, uh, Shemi, and uh, either Ishan or Umesh, whoever plays, you know, because it's important for them to pick uh, wickets early on. You know, and uh, uh, and if they pick wickets early on with two Kukubara new balls, which is always going to help the seamers, uh, then they can put pressure on the opposition team. If they don't pick wickets early on, then there will be a lot of pressure on the bowling. Uh, and we, we have spinners, but who probably will not be as effective uh, as they are in Indian or subcontinent conditions. Well, so I think then there will be a lot of pressure in the death overs. So I think picking up early wickets will be the key, and that's why our fast bowlers have to be in top form. Right. Okay. Uh, Nikhil, what do you th what do you think is going to be key for India? Well, I guess uh, you know in terms of batting, when you're chasing, I'd like to see Mahendra Singh Dhoni, uh, you know, not just stick and hold on to that number six batting slot. You know, he'll have to play a more uh, sort of a floating role. He's got to try and give himself 20-25 overs. You know, because it get, on a day-in and day-out job, it gets very difficult when you've got, say, 60-odd deliveries left in the game to try and get 80-odd runs. It gets very difficult. But he's the kind of player, you know, if he gets in, he can get boundaries at will. And to get the best of Mahindra Singh Dhoni, he should have been batting on 25-30. And Pankaj, just to let all the guys who have joined us on the hangout, that we've got daily non-stop flights into Australia, you know, and on the Dreamliner. So don't wait up, guys. Book your tickets. That's Go not the Dreamliner. Okay, this is uh, the uh, Dreamliner. Uh, okay. <laughs> well, well, well done. Well done, all three of you. Fantastic. <laughs> but guys, you know, we can keep talking about it, but the actual action is happening in Australia. 
Okay. And allow us to take all our fans into Australia on Air India. A true Maharaja experience. Oh, lovely, lovely, fantastic. You know, on that note, I've got a very interesting uh, question from a fan uh, about Air India and, and, and its stars. That, uh, that what, what is that so special that Air India does that it keeps, keeps producing these superstars and legends of the game? Wait, wait, I'll, I'll, just have to, I'll just have to get uh, maybe one of the senior officers around <laughs> to answer that because uh, I'm sure uh, they have some uh, magic mantra going through. No. The only magic mantra we have is that we fly the airline and we expect others to fly the airline as well. But no, but Air India, you know, Pankaj, over the years has been great in terms of supporting uh, Indian, uh, Indian sport, you know, especially cricket, you know, Lakshman, myself, Harbhajan. Yuvraj Singh, we had Mahindra Singh Dhoni uh, earlier with us as well, Suresh Rana is part of the squad, we had Javagal Srinath earlier as well. So they've always promoted the sport and you know the reason why we are what we are also because Air India allowed us to travel the country and play the local tournaments which is so important when you're looking to develop uh, as a cricketer, you know you go through different situations and Air India has allowed us to travel you know, 365 days if it meant to go and play uh, cricket around the country and representing Air India. I think just to add to that, it's uh, also about the vision part. Uh, look, a lot of organizations have uh, sports teams and they inculcate uh, sporting habits into their uh, administration and even I mean, try to have more and more uh, people around, uh, you know, encouraging them to play sport. But uh, the, the kind of a vision that the organization has had and it's had over the years, it's not only that uh, today, uh, just because we three are sitting in front of you and Harbhajan is joining us. It's not about the four of us, it's about uh, the 40 and the 400 people behind who have already been a part of the organization and, and probably 400 behind them who's actually helped us all to go out there into the park and, and perform uh, with these. So yeah, it's been, it's been a corporate culture uh, which has been very much prevalent in the organization and uh, we just hope it, that it goes on for the next uh, few more years and, and so on and so forth. Awesome, awesome. Well, uh, those, those senior officers, as Anju was saying, aren't there, but uh, no, kudos no, no, to I want to hear Harbhajan's view on this. <laughs> yeah, see, uh, I can tell you my own story. Um, uh, I joined Air India when I was uh, uh, 18 and, um, you know, then I I played a few matches for India, then I got dropped. Then um, the only survival and only uh, thing me was... Uh, company Air India and um, most of the people who wanted to be my friends they were my friends till the time I was part of the Indian team and the moment I got dropped nobody was my friend and nobody was uh, standing beside me but this company have supported me when I was a young kid you know trying to play for India and uh, doing uh, my hard work in the ground and stuff you know they have supported me all the way uh, from that beginning itself you know that uh, today whatever I am I'm, I'm very grateful and very thankful to to this organization and uh, I think I I owe a lot to for uh, a lot of things for me and doing such great things for uh, for the sports in India. I think that's amazing. I, uh, I think this effort by Air India over the years should be applauded and I hope that they keep doing this sensational job over the years. Uh, it's almost time to close the show but before uh, we go I think Imam and Ravli are going to get angry with me if I don't give them the chance to have the last word here. Uh, so, uh, Imam, go ahead. Uh. Sure. Thank you, Pankaj. Uh, my question is to Lakshman, sir. Uh, you know, uh, Lakshman, sir, we've seen from the England tour a lot of drop catches in, in the slip cord, uh, a, a position which you made uh, made your own, uh, you know, uh, with, along with Rahul Dravid. We miss you a lot in terms of your batting, but your fielding has been something which has been missed a lot as well. My question to you is, is there anything uh, different which a slip fielder has to do or is there some special training which they have to take or uh, who, and also to add on to that question because they are going to Australia and the uh, World Cup, uh, you know, uh, there will be important crucial catches and slips. Who do you think are, uh, you know, the key fielders in this 15 squad in the, in the Indian team to field in that position? Uh, I think uh, uh, Ashwin, see it's Slip fielding or any skill for that matter requires a lot of hard work you know, and no skill can be improved uh, if you're not uh, working hard on it and then you have to take minimum I used to uh, hear from Azruddin you know was one of the best fielders India or world cricket has ever uh, seen he used to tell that every day you have to take at least 100-150 catches and that became a part of our routine you know me or Raul or whoever 
Uh, Bajji was himself a very good uh, slip fielder, great uh, pair of hands. I think it's important to practice regularly, and also I feel the slip uh, uh, is slip, uh, specialist position, like a point or a cover. Everyone is specialist. Everyone has a specific skill and also the mindset to feel in a particular position. And I think that's very important. And good thing about the uh, the Indian team today is they're not changing and chopping just because someone is dropping a catch. It happens. You know, it's not that me or Raul. Or, or any fielder or any cricketer who played the game has never ever dropped a catch. But it's important to choose or identify the specialist and stick to them. Uh, and I think in Australia, as you rightly said, or any overseas conditions, I think slip catching is probably more easy than in, in subcontinent because I always felt it was tough uh, fielding in slips in India because the bounce is low. Whereas once you go to South Africa, England, uh, or Australia, the bounce is more, the space is more off the wicket. So you can stay a little uh, further away from the wicket. So I think it's important to judge the distance from the wicket and also distance between the uh, two slip uh, slip fielders are uh, very very important. And take as many catches as possible in practice sessions. You know, I never ever uh, I know lose trust in your abilities because that's important thing. Once you drop a catch, never ever feel that you're not capable uh, to uh, to you know, catch any more which is coming your way. It's important to have the confidence, but it's important also to practice a lot. And Ashwin, to answer your question, who are the slip fielders? I think Ashwin and Shikhar Dhawan, because in, in uh, one-day cricket, uh, you usually have two maximum, uh, a third one will come. So Suresh Raina is an excellent slip fielder. I would like to see Suresh Raina in second slip. I would like to see Ashwin or uh, 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 Shikhar Dhawan at first slip, uh, and then probably a Jadeja at early position. But Suresh Raina is probably one of the best uh, fielders uh, in world cricket. Thank you for answering that. But you've been very modest when you said you dropped a lot. You two dropped the catches. We didn't see you dropping a lot. So thank you for answering that. Thank you, thank you, ma'am. Uh, we're almost out of time. Ravleen, uh, go ahead. A quick question from you. Uh, one question I'd like to ask to all our special guests is that who, according to you, will be the underdogs of the World Cup? Well, I think uh, you know uh, New Zealand uh, is going to be uh, one of the important teams out there uh, who's going to be playing this competition. They've been gone unnoticed in these World Cups uh, by far for many years. I think uh, New Zealand is one team, and uh, I will not discount South Africa, uh, a team as well from this World Cup. They're in prime form. Their batters are doing really well. They've got the firepower in their bowling department as well. Um, I think the Australian conditions suit the South African team also as uh, much as they, they, they suit the Australians and the Kiwis. So uh, for me, both uh, New Zealand and South Africa, they're not getting the focus right now. But I'm sure when the World Cup starts, a lot of eyes uh, should be on these two teams as well. All right. Fantastic. Uh, last question. I think it's a very interesting question that uh, has just been sent by a fan to me. This is for uh, Baji. Bajiba, you know, uh, our friend wants to know that how is the feeling in the camp, in the, in the team, just before you go into play Pakistan? especially in a World Cup. I can tell you the last time what was the feeling. I don't know what is the feeling now. Um, well, last time we were uh, like, we were really up for it for the game. We win and we end up winning the uh, competition because uh, that's going to be the game, you know, which will decide who will win the cup because um, uh, we played against most of the other team last time, but uh, for me, pressure was uh, probably double the pressure we, I felt in any other game against Pakistan. When I came to bowl, I was uh, actually very nervous, but uh, luckily I got uh, Umar Akmal out in, uh, in my second spells first ball, which uh, which was uh, I mean good. You know, then uh, uh, I was normal after that, but. Uh, Obviously, it is going to be uh, there, but uh, end of the day, you you just have to believe yourself and um, go out there and uh, and give your best shot. And uh, I'm sure, you know, we have got the quality team which can beat any team in the world. And um, I'm sure 14th or 15th, whenever is the game, I'm not uh, uh, too good with the dates and stuff. But whenever we are playing against whether Pakistan or Australia or whosoever. You know, Indian team will go out there and uh, and beat beat all the other teams. We've never lost to Pakistan in a World Cup game. I tell you that. Absolutely, Nikhil, and I hope that's one record that always stays intact. 
always uh to have you on the show and nikhil that sensational entry that you did was, was just <laughs> added to the fun uh, it's, it's, it's the dusra for air india but just want to remind you all our viewers that if you guys want to get into australia air india is the best bet daily flights non stop keep watching out for that space on twitter guys uh, uh air india on twitter you just never know you might be the lucky one who just might be going there to watch india play well Uh, on that note thank you everybody for participating it was great fun having you and let look forward to many more thank you guys thank Bye -bye. you thank you thank you